I got into work today and the drive was kind of interesting because it was uh, a little icy but mostly just wet. I've been at work like 30 minutes and now outside it's, 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 take a look. It's Mike, the Bowtie Rider. First of all, I gotta say, this new tripod that I got, it is sick. Like, it is super cool. I'm, I'm really excited about it, but that's me being a video geek. So today it is really cold and really snowy. I didn't do any writing this morning, but it's lunchtime, so it's time to do some writing. Um, I did do some writing last night. I wrote about an additional 1,100 words, which actually put me on track for where I need to be going. To see how all of that has been impacting my word count, here's what my word count looks like. Obviously still have some ground to work on to try and pick up the ground, but you know, it's a start really getting that speed up today. I thought today I would show you a little bit about what I've been working on. It's, it's this map that I've been working on. I don't like the framing of this shot at all. We're gonna do something different. So for the fantasy novel with the Musketeer, one of the big things that I really wanted was I wanted to capture the feel of a big city. A lot of fantasy science fiction stuff in particular, what they tend to do is they tend to do like, here's a tavern, here's a castle, and that's kind of it. And so I wanted to make sure that I had a city that was fully fleshed out. There's several good examples of this out there currently, and I wanted to try and take my own stab at it. So this, this actually just came from like a random generator used for D&D. I'll actually put a link down below in the description. It's a fantastic resource. For my world building, actually, I don't care so much about exactly how, you know, where everything is exactly at. I broaden the city off into like individual districts. That's what all those boxes are. And then I just, what big things are there? Because cities are complicated. They grow organically. I don't need to know street by street what's there or where everyone's at or where their food comes in. I just assume all that kind of takes care of itself. But I like this because this generator really gave me just as a random starting point to start randomly filling stuff in, and that does help so much. So I've been having a lot of fun doing that. That's what my world building's been consisting of. That's what a lot of my writing has been lately. Using that random generator as just a starting point actually ended up being super helpful, and I've been really pleased with the results. So that's, that's cool. I hope that your day is going well. It's a Monday. I hope the week is kicking off good and that you're doing something that you like. Be kind to yourselves. Make something awesome. Take care.